Hey everyone and welcome. Today's video, we are going to be doing a Monday reset. Uh, we had a hectic weekend and I just kind of let the house get out of control. So hi Gia. <laughs> um, so I, yeah, I, usually I like to wake up on a Monday morning and have everything nice and clean, but we decided to just kind of have family time and this is, this is how the house is looking. So we are going to be doing a quick little reset. I'm going to try to get as much done as I can in one sitting, uh, but I have a two-year-old running around, so that's a little, a little tricky. So we are just going to get into it and see how much we can get clean. So the first thing I'm doing is starting with all of this laundry. Uh, this is for probably myself and then all three girls. Uh, we, this was like two or three loads. I just threw them on the dining room table and I'm just kind of going through and folding everything. So now that my girls are a little bit older, I've got a 10 and an eight year old, they put their own laundry away. So I usually give every kid their own laundry basket. Obviously the baby can't put her stuff away, but I, for the older girls, I put everything in a laundry basket and then they put everything away. Do you guys have any laundry systems that you can let me know about like any ideas. Um, I mean, the system seems to work okay, but there's just always so much laundry. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get all of this folded and put away and then we will start cleaning. Now I'm just going to kind of go through the sink. We've got dishes from breakfast. I'm just going to try to put those all in the dishwasher and start a load of dishes. And then I want to clean out the sink. I don't know. The sink just gets out of control. I cannot get over how many dishes we go through as a family of five. Um, yeah. The other day I was counting all the silverware we had from like breakfast and lunch. And there were like nine pieces of silverware. I'm like, I don't get it. I need to start having the kids do their own dishes because they like to use like four different utensils with every meal. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of dish soap and clean out the sink. And I'm using this scrub daddy because this thing is on its last leg. So after I wash the sink, I'm going to be throwing this scrub daddy away. These are my favorite. I don't know if you guys have ever tried them, but I have found that Costco has an amazing deal on these. They have like a 12 pack I want to say for like 15 16 bucks uh I mean, no maybe it's an eight pack just kidding I think it's an eight pack but still that's a really good deal uh if you buy these things like by themselves they're over three dollars a piece so Costco has that pack I've seen it there pretty much every time I've gone so every time I go I try to pick up another pack so if you guys haven't used the scrub daddies or the scrub mommies they're so good <music> Right now I'm going to move on to the island. So this is our new little ice maker. Our ice maker in our fridge broke and it would cost a lot of money to replace it. So I bought this little ice maker at, I think I got it off Amazon um, and it works really well. What we do is we just run it for like as much as we need to, to fill up the ice in our freezer and then I'll put it away. I just, I don't know. I don't like having it out 
all the time. So I'll just make as much ice as we need and then I'll put it away. But that thing works really good. It makes ice very quickly uh, and it was under a hundred bucks. So uh, if you guys have a broken ice maker in your fridge, highly recommend this ice maker. moving on to the living room and you will see my older girls in this video <laughs> I just went and picked them up from school so they are chatting with me and telling me how their day was so you'll probably see them running in and out but um, I'm just folding everything up we do keep a large blanket on this couch because of the two-year-old uh, she can be kind of messy if she has snacks and whatnot in here so I just keep this big blanket on there and one day we will get rid of it and I'll be able to admire my beautiful furniture, but for now this just protects everything and keeps it nice and clean. Now that I've cleared all the floors, I'm going to let this little robot do, do some floor work. Um, so this thing vacuums and mops. It does both. Um, I'm kind of torn on it. I did like a review video on it and I'm still, I'm undecided. Like it's definitely better than nothing, but there's times where I'll run it and I'll walk back in the room and there is still crap all over the floor. So I'm like, I don't know this thing was a lot of money so i'm still on the fence about it do you guys have one of these what are your thoughts uh i feel like it for the money it could definitely do a lot better so all right guys this is how the house is looking it definitely is a major improvement i didn't get to everything that i wanted to but it makes me feel a little bit less anxious so if you guys want to check out some more cleaning motivation i have some more videos right here linked for you and i hope you guys have a great day we'll see you all soon bye